Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding a form DDP to Salesforce. A form DDP is simply a DDP that exclusively uses form steps and form fields to merge data into their documents. No data from Salesforce objects are used. In this example, we're going to use an Excel document that uses three fields to calculate a monthly payment. We're going to give the principal, rate, and period fields all ranges so they can pull in data from the form fields. Principal will have a range of principal, rate will have a range of rate, and period will have a range of period. Now we can save the Excel document to our desktop and move on to any other form field documents. In this case, we're going to use a Word doc to merge in client information. We're going to enter in ranges within angle brackets for each field that we want to use in our form DDP. Once we are done tagging our documents, we can save them to our desktop, navigate back to Salesforce, and begin creating a form DDP. In the DDPs tab, you must select the New button and edit the basic information for your DDP. You must give it a DDP name, an output file name. If necessary, you must add security to the security section for profiles and roles you want to have access to this form DDP. And the most important thing is to choose form as a record type Select Next and give the Form DDP a delivery option. In this case, we're just going to use Download, PDF, but you can give it one or several delivery options. Relationships and Insert Updates, as well as Tag Documents tab, are all irrelevant to Form DDPs. Skip to the DDP Files tab and then upload your files with form fields. Once you are done, hit Save and your form DDP has been created. Now you must navigate down to the form steps list and select edit form. This will automatically de detect all the form field ranges inside of your documents. Feel free to edit steps and add steps if necessary. For this example we're going to have a client information step and add an additional step for finance information. It's a good idea to always quick save to save your progress. Next we're going to move the principal, rate, and period fields to the finance information form step. Then we're going to rearrange the form fields in the client information step relabel our form fields and if necessary choose different form field types Now that we're satisfied with the client information, we're going to move on to the finance information. Rearrange our form fields by dragging and dropping them inside of the interface and then choosing different types. Because a period form field's a drop down, we're going to assign it several values of 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Next, we're going to set some static default values for our form fields. Now we're going to save. And this completes all the steps necessary for creating a form DDP. To run a form DDP, you must navigate to the DDP Forms tab, which will then take you to the DDP Visual Force page. Choose your DDP and your delivery method and hit Run. This will take you to the Form Visual Force page where you can see all of your field labels and assign it values. Once 
Once you are ready, you can select next to move on to the next form step. If you have defaulted information that you don't like, you can always change it. And then enter in values from a drop down and choose to run DDP once all your information is correct. From here, all the form field data will be merged into your documents and any calculations that you use in an Excel file will be calculated using the form field data. As you can see, our client information was merged into the Word document and our finance information was merged into the Excel document and a monthly payment was calculated. And that is how you create a form DDP. Thank you. Thank you.